Hi Polish peeps, welcome to my channel. Um, today I have a, another collection to share with you guys from Restored by Polish. Um, you guys may hear my child in the background. She is in the other room fil filming her very own nail video. <laughs> Although she doesn't have anything to film it on. She's practicing. Um, so just kind of ignore if you hear a little rumbling in the background. That's my seven-year-old sitting at the table in the kitchen. Um, but I couldn't squash her joy. I mean, after all, she's trying to be like her mom. <laughs> so I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, welcome to Crazy for Polish. Um, today's collection... Let me back up. Um... That's my child peeking in here. Um, today's collection, and I'm not sure what happened to this bottle. Hold on just a second. Um, there, there Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> um, so today's collection is, um, well, Restore by Polish, all of their proceeds go to um, charities and this collection is um, I guess in recognition in recognition of a um, disease called neutropenia the maker of the polish Jacqueline um, does have neutropenia and so she wanted to make some polishes and donate the proceeds to support neutropenia, neutropenia and those that suffer from the disease. Um, I am not super knowledgeable, but I do know that it is a disease that strips her of her ability to um, fight infections due to her lack of white blood cells. I believe I'm saying that correctly. I will link um, their video, um, Krista and Jacqueline's, they are a duo, um, and I will link their their video um, describing these polishes and re releasing these polishes um, below so that you will also be able to go back and watch their video. Um, but just as a reminder for those of you ha who did not watch my original video, um, sort of introducing Restore by Polish. All of their proceeds do go to a charity. The last release they did was a duo for Crohn's disease. Um, and so this is, this, the idea behind this is really dear to my heart and they are very dear friends of mine. Um, they did send these polishes to me for review, but I'm giving you my honest opinion. Um, and they're just amazing. Jacqueline is a wizard <laughs> with her formulas. And I am very pleased with the collection. The colors are very fall appropriate. Um, but there is an inspiration um, sort of poster that I have that I will um, throw up here so you guys can see where Jacqueline got the idea for the colors for the collection. And it's so appropriate and they're so close. And I totally get where these colors came from. Um, but let's just jump right into the polishes. I don't have an official I guess description of each polish um, I could have gotten it but I decided to give you guys my description because I think it's awesome and amazing <laughs> so um, let's get on to the polishes and I do have pics to share with you guys it's been really the weather's been really weird out here I normally like to do outside pics but um, it's been hard to time outside pics with when I do my swatching um, because it's been raining a lot uh, and of course right now appropriately is the sun is shining it's a beautiful day um, but for my picks I've just been using the lighting in my craft room so I hope that that is I say craft room craft slash polish room <laughs> I hope that the lighting um, for the picks is good enough um, to demonstrate the color of these polishes and I will link all the information about how to purchase these polishes also below so that you guys can go check them out. I'm trying to see if there's anything else I need to mention. And no. 
So let's just start talking about the polishes. So the first polish I have is called Brave and I will go ahead and let you guys know all of these polishes have the same glitter combination with these with the exception of Brave. Brave does have square um, glitters in it but it is kind of a minty I would say well, maybe a little bit darker than minty jelly base um, I guess probably base and it has green glitters in it um there's some hollow there are um triangle glitters red glitters which i just adore um some square red glitters which i adore um, i really love the glitter combination in these and like i said it's it's the same combination in all four polishes um which you will see in their video they did um like a skittles mani with all four and that was super cute i was like oh I'm, i might have to do that for fall um but um i'm trying to see what else there's also like some shimmer like holographic shimmer in here i don't know if you guys can see that it's real pretty real beautiful um you will see in my live swatch of this polish uh that um, the formula is amazing. It is, like I said, like a little bit of a jelly-ish formula um, on all of them. I did do three coats to um, to get opaque, but Krista and I did discuss how um, it's really just kind of how you polish. Some people are heavy-handed, some people are light-handed. I'm particularly light-handed. I think she mentioned that she got hers, hers was opaque in three coats too, I believe, or two to three coats, but hers looks a lot darker on her nails. Um, so I think it just kind of depends on how you apply your polish. Um, I always like to use thin, thin coats, and I usually try to go a little bit um, thicker on that third coat. But we were discussing our swatch picks, and even with three coats, my, my swatch picks were lighter than hers. And I know that skin tone also has a lot to do with that, but yeah, it's a beautiful polish. It was beautiful with my skin tone. I love this color so much, and the name of this polish is Brave, and um, which I really do think you have to be brave to go through... Um, what you have to deal with the chronic illness. I mean, multiple times being stuck, you know, multiple doctor's visits, just enduring that on a regular basis. And um, so I think this polish is so appropriately named. And I do feel like Jacqueline is super brave for everything that she has to endure um, just to be able to make sure she doesn't, like, you know, catch something and die. <laughs> so I really love this polish. Um, I hope you guys will like um, and enjoy my swatch picks and live swatch of Brave.
in the collection, we have Strong, which I would describe again with that same um, glitter combination, red um, triangle glitters, um, some holographic shimmer, um, green glitters, just a really fun glitter combination, and my bottle kind of needs to be shaken up, but um, this is, it's in like a, what I would kind of describe, it's like, it's not a pumpkin orange, it's not like a, it's not quite a burnt orange, <laughs> maybe between a pumpkin orange and a burnt orange, um, just a real warm, to warm toned orange. I think this glitter combination, again, looks great in this color. I don't know how Jacqueline does it, but like the ability to use the same glitter combination and make it look good in all these different colors, I think is so um, amazing. And I just, again, it's another jelly finish, jelly-ish finish. You guys will see that when I swatch it. Um, and this color just looks amazing with my skin tone. And I think it'll look good on a lot of different skin tones. I think all of these will look good on a lot of different skin tones. Again, it is, of course, your preferral preference. If you don't like orange, then, you know, maybe not get the orange one or whatever. But um, the formula, yeah, I can't say enough about the formula. <laughs> it is so good. It's smooth, buttery. Um, like, I just, I think these formulas are just really good. And... I feel, also feel like for new brands, it's kind of a trial and area, error, area, trial and error period, getting the formula right, and Jacqueline is just killing it. So, um, this one, again, is called Strong, which I think is also appropriately named for people that have to endure chronic illness and go through what you have to do, on, have to on a regular basis. Um, I mean, you have to be strong, right? Because you still have to live your life. There's things you still have to do. Um... So I really love this one. I, I enjoyed this one a lot on my nails. So and I hope you guys enjoy. I feel like I'm getting tongue tied. <laughs> I'm gonna slow down. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the pics and live live swatch of Strong. <laughs> Okay, next up in the collection, we have a polish called Cat Hair Rare, which I forgot. This is one thing that I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video. Um, I feel like I wanted more of these triangle glitters on my nails, and I did not hold my bottles upside down before I swatched them. I do know um, by watching Krista and Jacqueline swatch them, but that they do... I mean, you don't have to like fish for them. I just think I didn't hold my bottle upside down. So if you do make a purchase, highly recommend that if you want, and I do think you will want <laughs> these triangle glitters on your nails because they are so amazing. Okay, so rare is what I would describe as sort of a baby poop color. <laughs> and I would just like to say that this is a rare polish in my collection. I don't normally gravitate towards these colors, but 
this looks so good on my nails. I was so pleased and I was like, now I have what I can appropriately describe as a baby poop polish in my collection. <laughs> um, again, same glitter combination with um, the holographic shimmer, there's green glitters, um, the tri red triangle glitters, same glitter combination, just a different base and it is still amazing. Um, smooth buttery application on the nails, still I would say jellyish kind of formula, which I really love because it does allow those glitters to kind of pop through. Um, and I don't know, I didn't think I would like this one. <laughs> when I opened it, I was like, oh. <laughs> but it is actually really pretty. So if you go for these baby poop colors, um, I think you would really enjoy this one, especially with this glitter combination in here. So highly recommend Rare and let's get to the Picks and Live swatch of Rare. Okay, lastly in the collection, this one is called One in a Million, and again, same glitter combination, but in a white curly base, and you guys know how I feel about my whites. I don't love it unless you add glitters or shimmer or like, you know, some awesome, amazing glitter combination, um, because I can't just do a white polish with this combination of glitters once you put it in this white base it's so amazing again um i feel like i'm saying again a lot but it's pretty much the same except for the base of the polish um so the glitter combination again is those triangle red glitters with a little bit of holographic shimmer and some green uh glitters i think there are green hex glitters in here um so tiny <laughs> but in this white base so amazing I really enjoyed this one a lot I actually am still wearing it but it's starting to chip off because I've done a lot with my nails um, in the last I think I put this on yesterday in the last day or two um, and I do swatch with a um, like peel off base coat so I keep looking down and another nail has popped off but <laughs> Um, again, amazing formula, smooth buttery application, opaque in three coats, maybe two on shorter nails. So I think you guys will really enjoy this one if you pick it up. Um, this is definitely my jam, unlike the baby poop one. <laughs> so let's get on to, let me give you guys another look from this angle. And let's get on to picks and live swatch of one and a million.
Okay, so that is all of the polishes in this collection. Hope you guys enjoyed all four of them. Favorites. It's so hard to pick a favorite when there's only four of them. I will just tell you guys, the whole collection is amazing. But as far as I think what I think looked the best on my nails um, with my skin tone, it's a really hard decision. Uh, I'm going to go with Rare. I, I, no, not Rare. This is Brave. Um, I just really like this green base. I don't know. They're all really good. I love the glitter combination again in all of them. Um, but this one has just a little bit of something extra in it. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's square glitters. I don't know. I just enjoy this color. So, um, yeah, Brave is my favorite out of the collection. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys will, um, dive in and purchase them and let me know what you think of the collection as a whole. Um, really excited about what Restore by Polish is doing in the polish community. I think it's very unique um, and also very commendable for them to make polishes and donate all the proceeds to um, charities. Um, I just really love the idea of that. So hope you guys will join me in supporting them and as a new brand and also um, as a brand that supports charities. And if you have not subscribed to my channel and you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe, hit that like button, give it a thumbs up, um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!